Hi, I uh, made some updates on for Arch Linux for OpenBox for XFCE for i3, BSP, WM, and awesome. There is a new shortcut in town. Control Alt P is something. If you press it, something will happen, but it's not yet in. And I want this video to come into an article to stress the importance of an alias we have. It's so important for me that you know what's going on your on your system. You have this scale command which copy pastes everything from etc scale but there's also something called backup scale so it's going to make a copy of anything that's right now in your system and put it in a file or a folder called dot scale backup so hidden with a date so i know updates are coming they are in here right so what i'll do first is say okay let's move that guy over here that guy over there let's use this backup scale thing and see what happens if we type it something will happen to the left anything that was in etc scale is now inside this folder anything okay so what we always do is update fine everything stays the same you update And I have made, like I said, four packages, it seems, but there's also an awesome NBSP WM, which is not installed here. This is the, the normal Arch Linux. And then we install everything. And all these messages in here trigger something. It says, oh, something has been written in the scale, so I need to type the alias scale. So, great. And anything, anything that was inside the ETC scale is now in your system then maybe you think oh right um, there was this bash rc which might be different we might have made new aliases in this case i don't know let's have a look compare yes there is some difference so better do a copy bash cb copy bash when i check again and compare they're exactly the same so that's super. Done. Update. Last thing is the AUR. Stuff that's coming from Arch user repository. And, um, well, nothing's coming in. Fine. Now, if you do another backup scale, and that's the power of this command, you have another folder. Let's have a look. If we scroll up, let's make this bigger now and a bit smaller. So, control, scroll mouse, and then have this bit smaller these two guys one before the update one after the update if you compare them you are quickly but very quickly up to specs in knowing what changed on my system if you click on the same one buy that's the only difference I've made and this is the tutorial about Control alt P so if we want to have a shortcut that works we need to go to config, PAMAC, bind sim control, everything is changed. It's the control mod P that is in here. Okay, oops, so no, no problem, just open again, compare. You can always also go to open recent, also interesting. If you're an open box, the same thing applies, control alt P, PAMAC manager, opens. So three files have been changed and in this respect, it's an interesting video i3 is changed the keyboard shortcuts are here the keyboard shortcuts for openbox are here and the keyboard shortcuts for xfc are here so three operating systems like desktops where you can um, set it and each of them will launch when you log out and log in you'll see that control alt p will work again but bottom line um, use backup scale to know what's going on on your system. All right, cheers.